Okay, short reloading video is another AR-15 related video here. And what it is, is uh, this comp, this linear comp or muzzle brake with shroud is not threading onto this barrel. It's a three quarter uh, by 24. So three quarter inch and it's 24 right hand thread. So the first thing I was hoping is maybe uh, this comp's threads were not good. And ultimately, they, I found them to be good. I actually took a, a tap and ran it all the way through. And I still will not thread onto this barrel. It goes three times around and then it stops. So the next step is a bunch of measurements of this barrel's threads and seeing if there's an issue with the, uh, the shape of them, the size of them, whatever if is there going to need to be material removed with this bastard file or is there an issue with the shape that needs to be resolved with this thread uh conditioner this is an old new tricks from uh reef and nester and this is the 24 right there you can see i've marked it so I've got to start working on this and seeing if I can get any progress. And this is this is in lieu of getting the measurement wires and trying to decide what the exact problem is. I'm kind of going to work on threads a little bit and see if anything helps and continue on. But the first thing I did was a visual inspection with these two and a half power um, magnifying glass. And I'm continuing to look because there's got to be something in the third thread that's not right because that's where it's binding up. In here, so uh, I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna stop the camera. I'm gonna keep working on it, and I'll talk a little bit more about it shortly. Okay, I've been working on this for about 15 minutes, and I'm basically I'm using the the mill file here to knock down any sharp edges I was feeling, which now I'm not feeling any anything that's kind of anywhere sharp on the threads, and then I'm using this. Uh, this conditioner here on the 14 or 24 sorry when i'm looking at it it's the 14 when i'm using it's the 24 so i see the 14 and i go okay i'm on the 24 and what i'm doing is rolling it i'm pushing it forward and i'm telling you i'm feeling it um hogging out some of that some of the root in there and that threads like the the roots not deep enough and i think this this comp is is actually going on better now. So it's getting to the point where it's always stopping and it's been dead nuts the exact same uh, amount of degrees or rotations every single time. It's it's five time or it's uh, five half turns plus two thirds of the next half turn. That's how I'm I'm doing it. So it's like five sixths uh two and five sixths rotations. Well, now I go that far and it starts getting tight, but it can go further. Okay, so this is working. I am digging out some material out of these threads. And I just gotta keep working on it and eventually get it going. And uh, if you're wondering, I got this from my tool maker at work, but these are about $15 for these old, old ones. And it has eight sides. Okay, this is a number uh, one. It has the 28 on it, or the 24, I'm sorry, 24. And then the number two has uh, eight other ones. I think two are in common. So all told, you'll get like 14 sizes. Okay, so I'm gonna keep working on it and uh, I'll show you what this does. And right here, it, it basically will just bury, but Right there is where it used to bury, and now I can go that much further. So this is working. Once I blow the chips out and uh, keep working on, on these threads, this is going to work. This is going to dig out the root and get everything the right shape, and off we go. And I'm going to keep going until I'm successful. So as a quick demonstration of what I'm doing, I take this file, and I just sort of... I'm rolling it across the top two or three times in each spot. And what I'm trying to do is lower the peak 
just a little bit and allow this other tool to get in there. So I went too fast there, but I wanted to just demonstrate it. Hopefully that wasn't shaky cam. So here's what I'm looking at right here. If I go like so on the outside toward the, toward the very much the crown, it's pretty smooth, see? And then if I go in here toward this shoulder, it can get a lot more hairy. I don't know if I'll be able to, there's one. Ugh. Versus right there, it's nice and smooth. And in here, it's very rough. It's something going on with the way these threads are shaped. So that's what I'm working out. I'm trying to get this whole thing to be real smooth. And I think we're almost there. And once we get to the specification, it'll fit this uh, comp here and, and I'll be able to get this on. Okay, the progress so far, I'm gonna show you. This hooks up right here. Right here, okay, that's where it hooks up. So from here to, so we're gonna go half, one, two, so that's, sorry, that's three, four, so two, two and a half, and then right here is where it would completely bury in the past, okay? Completely bury right here. Now it does still get a little tight right there, but look at this. There's three full turns, and now here's one sixth more turn, and now it kind of buries, okay? So this is working. It's just using these simple hand tools and <clears throat> just kind of working on this, getting it going. And I'm here to tell you, if I'm working on, and, and also I can get this out, by the way. If I'm, if I'm working on the very edge like this, it's very smooth. And when I'm in the middle, it's a lot rougher. So I'm definitely cutting material out of the, uh, the barrel threads here. So as I moved even further in, it got even worse. Uh, so who knows how long this is going to take, but I'll get you updated. Hopefully I'll have success here, but I'm on the right path. I've gotten two sixths more rotation out of this already, and I've been working on it for 20 minutes. Well, it's on there, gang. It's on there snug. <laughs> But it, it threaded on. We got past whatever was causing problems. So no oil on it. Should be able to get it apart. Felt like it would come apart. Honestly, don't care. Uh, I guess I will need it apart to put the gas block on and to dimple the gas block because the darn thing doesn't have a dimple. But I didn't pay for a dimple, so I didn't get a dimple. And that's okay. So McGowan Precision Barrels... This is a sweet barrel, guys. It's 45 Raptor, 24 twist. Awesome barrel. I can't wait to use it. And this is a Tromix comp. And this, um, this when I ran the tap through, it didn't clean up at all. So uh, I don't think there was anything wrong with these threads. I'm not sure about the barrel, if there was a problem with the threads or if they just didn't get run deep enough. It kind of felt like at the very beginning it was kind of tight but fine and then when I got into the middle and the and the base of it where the shoulder is on the barrel that just got way too tight so not sure oh that was my reloading press so don't to wonder if that was like a lock nest or some Nessie there so anyway I'm gonna take it apart I'm gonna keep working on it a little bit but the key here was as I was running this file this uh, thread thread file is what they, uh, what the guys who would know call it as a thread file, at least where I work. Uh, it started to smooth out really well on the middle and even toward the, the front of the, uh, what do you call it? The, the middle of the threads and back toward the barrel, the shoulder in the barrel, which is where we're resting right now. It started to really get smooth. Not quite as good as the front, and it was hard to get this turned on. It was tight. But a little bit of oil probably going to take care of that. Anyway, that's what we did today. It was fun. I didn't hurt myself. Uh, always a plus. And I'm pretty sure that bad boy is ready to go. So thanks for watching. Okay, a little bit of bonus shaky cam footage of what I'm doing. I almost guarantee this is going to shake the camera. Unfortunately, my new setup in my new basement 
I have no way to decouple the camera stand from the table. So I'm gonna try not to shake it too hard. So if you're watching, I guess, here's what we were doing. I was starting a barrel here and my tool here and rolling it this way. See how smooth that is? Now compare that to up here. Let's grab a good spot right here. Oh, see that catch? Uh, oh, see that catch? That stutter in there? That's this thing trying to dig out the root of that thread. Oh, see that? As opposed to in here, real smooth. So, ah, see that? Oh. So that is what we were fighting this whole time. And it took many rounds of going around and around, ugh, cutting that out. And I, I'm dragging it back, but I'm not pushing on the way back. They're only pushing on the way forward. No pushing on the way back. I was told by the tool maker, do not do that. So, I'm not, but I'm being lazy and I'm not lifting it out of the groove. And I can actually feel it getting a little less difficult, let's say. What's going on right there? So, now we'll grab the comp here. And see, it goes on real easy till about right there, and then it'll go on. And bottom out. So, this is good, and it comes back out, which is a huge bonus. <laughs> But it's really tight right there, which honestly, I don't care if that's real tight. I, I, that's fine. I don't want to back it out. All right, so that's what we did. Before, obviously, you could see it could only go three times around. Now I can go, I don't know, 10. So that's what I did.